Welcome, Mr. Lane. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, DK. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. About when we say invest TT, what do we mean? What are we talking about? Uh, well, Invest TT or Invest Trinidad and Tobago is the investment promotion agency for Trinidad and Tobago. We are the national investment promotion agency for the country, established in 2012. Uh, we report to the Ministry of Trade and Industry. And our mission is, is quite simple, but uh, it's to attract, facilitate, and retain direct operational investments in Trinidad and Tobago, which is to say Invest TT plays a facilitation role or is a facilitation partner of uh, foreign and local direct investors that are looking to set up operations within the country. And so we do that as a part of the economic development strategy of Trinidad and Tobago, and of course, increase the investment stock in the country, both foreign and local. And what are those key areas of focus in terms of investment? Sure, so some of the key areas and opportunities for investment now exist uh, in business process outsourcing. So we in fact have had uh, international call centers to so far set up in the area of uh, business process outsourcing, providing services back into the US and Canadian markets. Uh, and our talent pool, deep talent pool and strong telecom infrastructure, English speaking and near shore proximity to the United States, the Eastern Seaboard of the United States makes us a strong location for business process outsourcing. Uh, of course, our low energy and business costs makes us a strong uh, location for electricity or energy intensive manufacturing. So building on um, the benefits of the success of our existing manufacturing base, investors can seek to use Trinidad as a platform um, to access our strong infrastructure, port, road, airport, and otherwise, uh, as well as our trade agreements uh, to use Trinidad as a platform to access uh, Central American, North American, and wider European markets. Uh, there are also uh, huge opportunities in logistics, either for collating goods in the region, uh, in Trinidad and Tobago as a platform for export of those goods, or using Trinidad and Tobago as a location or a hub and spoke location for the import and distribution of goods across the CARICOM and the Central American region. So great opportunities also exist in logistics, uh, as well as offshore transshipment, and coal stacking in the Gulf of Paria and our location outside of the hurricane belt and uh, the Gulf of Paria itself being a large naturally sheltered harbor uh, provides uh, opportunities for maritime industrial area um, opportunities within, uh, again, coal stacking and transshipment. And uh, far and ab uh, above those four opportunities, of course, hotel development opportunities, opportunities in the agro-processing and agricultural space, uh, financial technology, as well as renewable energy. So we feel that we have a great slew of benefits that allow investors access to several opportunities across the board that are ready and available now with InvestDT as your facilitation partner. And I want, I like the aspect of facilitation, and we'll get to that, and the climate for investments in Trinidad and Tobago in just a bit. But do you approach foreign and local investors the same? Because you said you, you reach out to both of them, but is your line of reasoning or marketing a little different in how you in, uh, approach these stakeholders? Well, you would imagine, DK, that foreign investors are a little more difficult to contact because they're not in Trinidad and Tobago and haven't had the experience of investing or using the country as a platform. And so uh, our attempts to engage foreign investors, of course, have to be extraordinarily aggressive, but very focused around those specific sectors that I talk to and engaging investors through the mediums uh, that they currently interact with. So uh, we use several uh, opportunities, digital marketing, social media marketing, the use of lead generation consultants, uh, to really build awareness of Trinidad and Tobago as an investment destination, not, over, not just overall, but in the focused areas that I just mentioned. Uh, uh, locally, we seek to raise our profile as an investment uh, um, promotion agency, and as you just said, as the facilitation partner. So investors here are operating, they understand the environment, but they need to understand what opportunities exist and who can assist them in navigating the regulatory approvals required, uh, potential access to joint venture partnerships, and or advocate policies that uh, improve the already uh, solid investment climate in Trinidad and Tobago. So while both investors are driven by the same, um, the same goals of expanding their operations in this region and using Trinidad as a platform to export goods and services, nuances between the two and uh, InvestIT does fashion its services depending on which one it is uh, interacting with. Now, who do you say solid 
just now, but I'd like you to expand on that in terms of describing the current climate for investment in Trinidad and Tobago. Thanks. Well, certain Trinidad is an attractive and a very compelling investment destination built on the strength of our oil and gas sector. And we've had foreign investment in that oil and gas sector for over 100 years now. And of course, a, a very strong foreign presence in that sector. But building on that, uh, we do have a strong, strong uh, platform in the financial services area, telecommunications, and really it, we are the hub of manufacturing for the investment. So a strong economy, strong political environment, strong infrastructure, and very strong investment protection mechanisms through our trade agreements with international nations, as well as bilateral investment agreements and double taxation agreements. Uh, make Trinidad a very solid platform for uh, foreign investment overall. And of course, uh, Investity as a facilitation partner gives you access to information, access to regulatory approvals, and access to pretty much whatever the investor requires in doing their due diligence on the market. And again, uh, in ensuring that once they make the decision positively for Trinidad and Tobago, that the investment operation itself uh, is successful and that they can expand their platform in the country. Okay, and we've recently been seeing conversations about the volatility of the oil and gas market. Uh, what are some of those things or spaces that you curate, curate rather, information, sharing, that people can say, okay, well, let me look and see if I get some information about Trinidad and Tobago. Is that something that you're also able to facilitate? Absolutely. Uh, and information provision is probably about 60% of the role that we play, particularly with investors that don't already operate in Trinidad and Tobago. And I spoke to those nuances earlier. Uh, the first question they asked primarily is about the labor pool and the talent pool that we have here in the country. Uh, and investors look at talent pool in a very different way from a skill and an access and a, and a technical skill standpoint, as well as the cost of that labor pool. And so uh, Investity would provide either primary or secondary sources of information uh, to build that labor profile for them. And then of course, provide more technical details on our telecom infrastructure, our market readiness, our political stability, and really anything the investor requires in order to make their, uh, to have their due diligence happen. happen. And of course, we provide this uh, free of charge. Uh, we are funded by the government of Trinidad and Tobago to assist and facilitate and be an, a partner to that investor to ensure that one, they choose Trinidad and Tobago and two, they're able to expand investment uh, in line with the investment expansion requirements. And I think this is a good point in time to actually get some of the contact information. How do people engage with you? How do people find this information that is there for the dissemination? Sure, you can uh, find us on any of our social media platforms, InvestDT on our LinkedIn, Instagram, or Facebook. We have pages on all. Uh, you can email us at info at or you can access us at our website, which is www.investdt.co.tt. Across any of those platforms, we have a team that's ready, willing, and able to respond uh, with very strong protocols and provide the information and access that investors need now. All right, and hopefully we get into some of those protocols when we return from the break. We are speaking with President of InvestDT, Seku Allen. Stay with us. We return with more. For generations, hard work and good advice have been essential. So when hard work gives me tough pain, I rely on Panadol Ultra that relieves fast five types of tough pain. Take good advice. Take Panadol Ultra. Find your trusted Panadol Extra Strength with a new look and new tablet. It's D-Best pre-Christmas sale. Start your Christmas shopping at dbesttoys.com now and save big. Shop gifts for the entire family all in one place. Get huge discounts on brand name toys and baby items. From action figures, arts and crafts, bicycles, tricycles, scooters and skateboards, tablets, laptops and Amazon buy sticks, building blocks, cars, trucks and remote control vehicles, desks, clay, dough and slime, educational and stunt toys, dinosaurs, dolls, dollhouses and kitchen sets, board games and puzzles, outdoor fun, party supplies, school supplies, Strollers, car seats and travel systems, baby bathtubs and potties, cribs and playpen, bouncers and rockers, walkers, jumpers and swing, high chairs and booster seats, gyms and play mats, shoes and clothing, changing pads, blankets, soothers, baby bottles, nursing and feeding accessories and so much more. Visit us in store at Southern Maynard McBean or shop online now at dbesttoys.com and get free nationwide delivery. Avoid the Christmas rush and get the first pick of D-Best Toys at D-Best prices. There's something for the whole family at dbesttoys.com. Free Christmas. People of God, I invite you to join me on Know the Truth, a Christian faith program dedicated 
to bringing the truth of the Bible. The truth that will heal your soul, that will help you in everything in your life because the truth is needed. So join me on Saturday, 8.30 a.m. and on Sunday, 10.30 p.m. I am Pastor James, right here on TTT. The Atlantic hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? When moving to safety, you must have a plan for going to a designated shelter or to relatives or friends that live on higher ground, at least 25 feet or higher. Plan multiple routes since roadways may be blocked by floodwaters and or debris. Shut off the water, electricity and gas at the meters or tanks. Leave a few windows slightly ajar to relieve pressure in the case of a hurricane. Board up all windows on the exterior perimeter, lock all doors and gates. Secure electronic equipment with plastic sheeting or garbage bags. Make copies of important documents, ID and certificates and keep in a secure place other than your home. Then secure valuable papers and photos in plastic bags in the refrigerator for the duration of the hurricane. Take photos of any damaged property for insurance claims. This message courtesy TTT Limited. Welcome back to In Depth with me, DK Rosner. We are speaking with President of Invest TT, Seku Alain. Now, Mr. Alain, it, I feel as though my, my glasses are a little rosier now since the first half of our conversation. So, what do you look for in terms of an investor? Is there something like a, like a, like a floor level that someone can come in at? Because I'm thinking that people who may be looking at different places to put their money, not necessarily the bank, they want their money working for them a little bit. How do they say, okay, well, this is something that I want to be a part of? Uh, good question, DK. Um, we look for direct operational investors. We look for investors that are going to set up a footprint in Trinidad and Tobago uh, and employ Trinidadians and Tobagonians in providing goods and services to local, regional, and foreign markets. Uh, so we do not set any limits in terms of the size of the investments. We have facilitated SMEs as small as six employees and a hundred thousand US dollar investment, and as big as two hundred employees and twenty million TT dollars investment. So. Uh, we really are not guided by the size or the quantum, but really the impact that the investment have and has uh, and the expansion opportunities within it. So, for instance, one of the investments we would have facilitated uh, some years ago was a, a robotic, initial robotic software development firm. Uh, and they started off with just three employees, have grown to 12 since, and provide services into Silicon Valley uh, that control robotic arms uh, for manufacturing firms in the U.S. market. Small investment, highly impactful uh, the opportunity for expansion and for positioning Trinidad and Tobago as a destination for the provision of these types of services, huge. Um, and so we really define uh, investors and look for investors that can have that type of impact, uh, but primarily that can access a very skilled talent pool, use our well, uh, uh, well-developed and robust infrastructure to achieve, of course, their objectives. Uh, and of course, that would then be a win-win situation for the country that can be able to uh, build the base and the investment stock that it develops within those industries. And I'm glad to hear that because I can imagine some people say, okay, well, I'm wondering if my idea is big enough, if my outfit is large enough to actually approach InvestTT to have this sort of engagement. But one of those, one of those uh, areas, the sectors that may be a little more traditional is something like real estate. Uh, is there, well, are there opportunities for such in Trinidad and Tobago, possibly through InvestDT? There are, um, and uh, particularly in line with the sectors I mentioned in manufacturing, logistics, and IT services, uh, InvestDT is currently partnered with uh, ETEC, Evolving Technologies Enterprise Development Company. Uh, as a landlord, they operate 20 industrial parks around the country and also are the owner operators, the owners of uh, Magdalena in Tobago and Hilton. Uh, in Trinidad and Tobago. We partner with them to tenant or provide access to investors in the manufacturing, logistics, and technology spaces uh, at Phoenix Park Industrial Estate. Phoenix Park being a brand new uh, estate under construction now to be completed by May of next year. 144 acres access to land lots and build factory shell spaces, again, in the manufacturing, logistics, and the IT services areas. Just a five-minute drive from the Point Lisa's port, 
uh, and very centrally located within Trinidad and Tobago and with access to the highway network. So investors are currently um, uh, seeking those opportunities and we look forward to speak to anyone else that feels they could fit in as small as a 12,000 square foot factory shell or a half acre space uh, or as big as a 10 acre space. And so we look forward to having those types of discussions around those who need close and quick access to our shipping port. Uh, for those who need close and quick access to our airport and would like to uh, locate themselves away from city centers, Tamina Intech Park is another real estate development opportunity, again, in partnership with ETEC, uh, that is just at the end of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway on the east side, just about 15 minutes drive from Piaco International Airport and hosts and houses uh, the main campus of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, as well as ETEC itself. And I spoke to international business process outsourcing firms, one of the main ones I call also operates from Tamina Intech Park, and it has land space availability, 18 lots, with all the infrastructure required, electricity, sewage, water, telecom, uh, as well as an on-site substation ready for large uh, data center manufacturing and other IT type industries. Um, and uh, we also, after you've had access close to the shipping port and the airport, access to agricultural produce uh, in the southern end of the country at Maruga for agro-processing. And so we're targeting, uh, and we talked about the size of investors, we're talking more SMEs and medium-sized investors that are looking to access the agricultural raw materials available in the southern part or really any part of the country. Uh, and with real spaces, again, landlords and the infrastructure in place, looking to access opportunities to quickly get into those processing businesses that can service either an import substitution role for Trinidad and Tobago and or produce goods for export markets. And so InvestIT is keen and focused on providing investment and tenanting opportunities in these three parks in alignment with its focus on manufacturing, logistics, IT industries, as well as agro-processing in terms of sectoral focus. And you're talking to me, Mr. Alain, and I'm getting very excited, and I'm hearing all these incentives in terms of being close to the airport at Tamana or being close to the industrial and safe port in Point Lisa and Savaneta area. But what are some of those other incentives? Because people like people like a little icing on the cake. Huh? So in terms of other incentives that InvestTT can afford uh, potential stakeholders. Great, uh, and great question. So you're absolutely correct. The access to real estate opportunities, invested here as a partner, our infrastructure, our labor pool is the cake. And the icing uh, are the, those fiscal incentives and, and, and the major one being the special economic zones uh, incentive that is currently uh, going, making its way through the approval uh, process through to parliament. And that should be available in March of next year. And that will offer lower tax incentives as well as access to customs and duty-free VAT exemptions on imports, on all goods, uh, again, as well as uh, lower corporate taxes. And that special economic zone can exist in uh, designated areas in the country. And, and Phoenix Park Industrial Estate that I just spoke to will be a designated special economic zone, or those zones can be located uh, wherever that investor locates uh, in a land space or on a floor in a building. And so that is going to be the widest range of incentives available cross-sectorally uh, that will be available for investors in 2020. But of course, we have strong manufacturing existing incentives uh, through the uh, Fiscal Incentives Act, the Customs Act, as well as the Income Tax Act that provide customs and duty-free exemptions on imports of plant, machinery, and equipment so investors can uh, uh, conserve their cash flow for their operational requirements as opposed to paying them out in, in, in duties and taxes. And again, uh, those incentives can be accessed at the investor's location once approved and InvestIT will be your partner in gaining access to those approvals. Um, and we also have great and um, regionally competitive tourism investments uh, for hotel development, seven-year tax break, again, duty-free imports on plant machinery equipment, uh, and those uh, 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 impact not just uh, uh, customers that are investors that are doing um, investments in hotel development, but a wide range of ancillary tourism activities that again, InvestIT has partnered uh, with the Ministry of Tourism and Trinidad and Tobago Tourism Limited uh, to provide access to. And, and then we do have some, some new technology incentives for the SMEs. Again, you asked earlier uh, whether we have a barrier or a uh, level to which we facilitate. We are also focused on SMEs with technology-based incentives and really look forward to those firms contacting us uh, through info at investit.co.tt or our website 
uh, to gain access to those incentives and for really for us to understand that investment better and provide you uh, the best cake um, uh, to, to prove out the business model and the platform that Trinidad and Tobago is for that investment. And of course, add that icing on the cake as you refer to it, DK. All right, now I see that you would have just had a virtual invest investment forum on November 2 and 3. Uh, with that in mind, and we have a minute more, what is on the table for 2022? Well, you're right. We did have the investment forum that covered many of the sectors that I spoke to earlier and brought um, our, of course, our Minister of Trade and Industry, Chairman of InvestDT, and our partners at Caribbean Export together uh, to provide that information on the investment opportunities. But we also brought private sector, those who are already operating in Trinidad and Tobago, both domestic and foreign, to speak to what they thought of and the experience they've had uh, in Trinidad and Tobago and why they continue to expand for all the reasons I've mentioned earlier. Uh, and in 2022, we're looking to continue to engage with those 250 or some or, or odd investors that attended the forum uh, individually, specifically around their needs, again, to position ourselves as their partner for growth in this region and look forward for more specific webinars and investment opportunity seminars in specific sectoral areas, hotel development, agro-processing, um, uh, particularly in the area of cocoa, and more information coming forth on manufacturing, business process, outsourcing, et cetera. 2020 is going to be a very exciting year. Uh, we've navigated the, the, the virus well as an agency and providing all our information across digital platforms. And our team, again, with the protocols we have in place already willing and able uh, to engage with you across platforms, individually or in groups, to provide access to the opportunities we've mentioned. So we want to thank you so much, Sekou Alain, President of Invest TT. This has been In Depth with me, DK Ronsner. On behalf of our entire news team, thank you for joining us. The winning numbers in the National Lottery Online draws for Wednesday, 17th November 2021. 10.30 a.m. Playway, the number 32 shrimp. Pick two numbers, 12 and 31 in that order. Megaball Court.